Google Photo storage policy is changing, so this is your one month warning to upload your existing photos before the 1st of June. So in case you missed the news last year, you need to be aware that this year from the 1st of June, e.g. just a month after I published this video, any new photos or videos you upload into Google Photos are gonna start to eat away at your Google storage. Uh, now that storage is typically 15 gig. I'm gonna to link to this page in the video description down below. You can check your account, see how much you're using in Google Drive, in Gmail, obviously in this new account I've got here, it's nothing at the moment. But if you see anything against your Google Photos storage before the 1st of June, that's gonna be because you've backed up in original quality. If you're backing up in the excellent high quality into Google Photos before the 1st of June, that's unlimited, that's free, and it's not gonna have been eating away at your account quota at all. From the 1st of June, it will. Now, of course, Google have a solution for this. They're very happy to sell you some storage. It's called Google One, and you can see they have a range of options here for you. So what I'm gonna try and do instead in this video is give you three tips to help you digitize and back up any existing photos you have now to take advantage of the time window up to the 1st of June, and also to help you save on any Google One subscription, whether that's through avoiding the need to have one or minimizing the cost of it. The tips are timestamped in the video bar down below. Let's get right into them. So tip one, the most straightforward, is to go ahead and install the Google Photos app on any Android or Apple device that you have. So I'm gonna link this page for installing on Google Android devices, whether that's your phone or tablet, down in the video description below, and also this page to install on any iOS devices you have, like an iPhone or an iPad. Once you've got it installed, you wanna make sure you are backing up. So once you've got it on your device, click on your account picture in the top right, and then in the menu, click on to um, back up and sync make sure that's turned on make sure you're backing up in high quality size and make sure you've picked all the folders you want to back up because you might want to back up more than just the camera roll you might want to back up your screenshots or any other particular folder you have on there with videos or photos so yeah go ahead and install those apps and get backing up that's tip one so tip two if you're old enough to have physical photos laying around you want to get those all scanned and backed up now into google photos before the first of June. Um, a quick way to do it I would recommend is with a device like this, the ePhoto Z300 from Plustech. I've made two videos on the channel on it already so do check them out, I'll link the playlist down below. There's a full overview and tutorial of using it as well as some tips and tricks for even quicker scanning and higher quality scans. Now, before we move on to tip number three, if you are new to the channel and you do appreciate this kind of video, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and checking out some of the other content. But before you check out any other videos on the channel, let me cover off tip number three that's to come along to this URL that I'll share in the video description down below and to install the backup and sync agent. Now, this is available for both Windows and it's available for Mac iOS. It's just not showing me the iOS link because I'm on a Windows machine right now. This is a little agent that's gonna sit down in the bottom right by your clock and you can tell it where you've stored all your photos and videos on your PC and it'll have some default settings anyway if you're not sure and it will start to back them all up to Google Photos in the background. So really clever, really handy. And also if you have a camera connected or if you have an SD card from your camera, you can plug that in, it'll detect it straight away and ask you if you want to back that up as well. So really handy and you can also combine this of course with what I just covered in tip number two. So that's the three tips covered off. Good luck getting all your photos sorted and backed up before the 1st of June. Moving forward, of course, as you take new photos, I do recommend you check out this video I did on minimizing the cost of Google One. I think you'll find that really useful. And in the meantime, if you'd like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one.